mouth is. And those are the little two feet. You see the little things just inside there that are kind of soft. Twice a year, the Cal Poly Pier in Avila Beach opens up to the public for two days. This past weekend, the pier opened and marine science students were able to present some of their work and educate people about marine life through touch tanks. And you can see on the side here his mouth up top and then his foot coming down. Research displays and even scuba tanks. Students like biology graduate student Talia Head get an opportunity to learn by doing at the pier while also working touch tanks to teach children about sea animals. Oh man, it's so cool. It takes me back to when I was first like starting to get excited about marine science because I grew up in Nebraska and so it was definitely um, not a marine heavy area there and so when we get, have the Discover Scuba Tank and kids come up and they're like that was awesome I'm like you keep doing it man get excited about it because that is just so thrilling to me and I hope that these kids can maybe um, be able to take advantage of these resources that I have now when they're my age, too. Head is part of a Dungeness Crab research display where they studied slow marine ecosystems. And so we're trapping um, baby, baby Dungeness crabs, they're called megalopes, and we're counting to see how many new of the species, of these Dungeness species we're getting this year, so that in the future we can estimate the size of our fish, fishable population. Head said the pier helps her and other graduate students communicate about their scientific projects in terms the public can understand. Not everyone gets to go out and go diving every day and see what's actually living in the water and what do things look like when they're alive before we eat these species and things like that. And so it's a great opportunity to learn about our actual ecosystems and the ocean that we're interacting with on a day-to-day -day basis. Over 1,000 people visit per day when the pier opens. Yeah, and then we have a terrestrial fox to compare. Those guys are really fluffy, but they're just nothing compared to a sea otter, right? Dylan Ring, Mustang News.